All right, ladies and gentlemen, a new season of Destiny 2 means a new leveling guide. As I say in all of these leveling guides, one day I'm going to stop making them because, well, leveling in Destiny 2 hasn't changed in a long time. But people keep watching them and asking for them, so that day is not today. So yeah, whether you're a new player, a returning player, or you're a veteran watching this video for fun, I'm going to show you how to level here in Season 19 slash Season of the Seraph. Now, you all know the drill if you're new and only if you enjoy my content, then feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate it. But before we get into that, I would like to thank Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. Listen up, gentlemen, the bulge in your pants should not be from your wallet. With Ridge Wallet, you can get a lightweight, minimalistic design wallet that holds up to 12 cards plus cash. I just love how lightweight and easy it is to carry this thing. I mean, it's obvious why Ridge Wallet has over 50,000 five-star reviews. And if you're worried about digital pickpocketers, well, don't be because these bad boys come with RFID blocking technology. Now, the only thing better than a Ridge Wallet is a Ridge Wallet with one of their new key cases. Gone are the days of having 10 keys stabbing your thighs to death. Ridge is so confident in their products that they'll let you test drive them for 99 days if you do not love them you can send them back for a full refund now just in time for the holidays you can get up to 40 percent off until december 22nd by going to ridge.com slash myfi that's ridge.com slash myfi for up to 40 percent off through december 22nd once again thank you so much to ridge for sponsoring this video now, I'm going to be doing this leveling guide slightly different from my previous leveling guides after some feedback about people already knowing how artifact bonus levels work and just wanting me to talk about gear levels. Well, that's what I'm going to do. However, for people that don't know, get ready to pause the video in three, two, one. So gear level affects how much damage you do to enemies and take from enemies. You can see what your gear level is by hovering over the big yellow number on your character screen. Your gear level is the number in white followed by the word gear. This number is derived from all your pieces of gear added up and divided by eight. You're essentially just averaging out all your gear. Now, if you were to sit down and do this with a calculator, there's a good chance you'll get a decibel and you'd be more than likely inclined to round up if it was a 0.5 or higher because, well, that's how simple mathematics is taught. But in Destiny, you round down. You always round down. Even if you're at, let's say, 1589.9, well, you're actually 1589. So with how you come up with your gear level, how do you increase it? And well, in order to understand that, you first need to understand the gear caps in Destiny 2. First is the floor, and this isn't really a cap, but I think it's important for you to know. The floor is currently 1350. This is the lowest your gear can be. So if you just started the game or you're returning after not playing for a long time and you're wondering why all your stuff is 1350, well, that essentially means zero. All gear was brought up to 1350 at the beginning of the Witch Queen expansion. The floor will more than likely raise whenever light fog comes out okay so now for the actual first cap the soft cap the soft cap in season 19 is 1530 in order to get to 1530 you can do literally anything strikes crucible god forbid i say gambit but even that random drops just strolling around literally anything so if you're not at 1530 yet just play the game and get to 1530 you can literally do anything now once you've hit 1530 aka the soft cap your next goal is to get to the powerful cap which in season 19 is 1580 now unlike getting to the soft cap where you can just play the game getting to the powerful cap requires you to do powerful challenges you can find these by just looking for stars on your map slash directory now you'll notice when hovering over these stars that they will state tier one tier two or tier three this actually does mean something and affects the order you should do them tier ones award gear plus three levels over your gear level tier twos are plus four and tier threes are plus five and like i just said you're going to want to do them in order so do all your tier ones first then your tier twos and finally your tier threes you're doing this because of a little thing called rng and you trying not to get absolutely rko'd by it for example if you were to do a tier three and get let's say arms they would be plus five over your gear level but maybe you only needed a piece of gear three levels higher to bump your gear level up by another level so 
if you would have done a tier one, that would have been a plus three. And now doing that tier three would still be a plus five, but because you're a whole nother level higher, it would be a plus six over what you started at. It's kind of confusing, but just do your tiers in order. Two final things to know about the powerful cap. First is prime engrams, the yellow looking ones that kind of just randomly drop. Those act as tier ones and should be turned in immediately because they don't scale as you level if you save them. Whatever level you are when they drop determines what level that prime engram will decrypt at. And secondly, if you do pinnacle challenges before you are at the powerful cap, they will act as a tier three, so plus five. Now I know I said that those were the two final things to know about the powerful cap, but I lied. There is a way to skip all of the soft cap grind and like half of the powerful cap grind. It is locked behind a paywall, but I thought I'd mention it. If you do the Witch Queen campaign on legendary difficulty, at the end, you will get a full set of gear at 1550. That's 20 levels into the powerful cap grind. You do need to own Witch Queen, but yeah, I thought I'd mention it. If you want to pick up Witch Queen on Steam, I'll have my Nexus store linked below. They're normally running a sale, but it's not guaranteed. You can check out whatever it is down there. Also, if you think the Legendary campaign sounds too hard for you, just know that Bungie came out with some statistics that said two out of three people completed the Witch Queen campaign on Legendary. So yeah, just believe in yourself. You can do it. Take it slow or team up with friends, whatever you want to do, you can get it done. But now once you've reached 1580, AKA the powerful cap, your next and final goal is to reach the pinnacle cap, which in season 19 is 1590. Now, unlike going from the soft cap to the powerful cap, which is 50 levels, going from the powerful cap to the pinnacle cap is only 10 levels, but those 10 levels are going to take you much longer than you might think. Just like getting to the powerful cap via powerful challenges, getting to the pinnacle cap requires, well, pinnacle challenges. You can find these pinnacle challenges the same way you found powerful challenges. Look for the stars. Pinnacle challenges do have tiers, even though when you're hovering over them, they don't say. But no worries, as I'll just tell you what or which one like which tiers are or what pinnacle challenges are there are certain tiers you know what i'm trying to say clan pinnacles and all playlist pinnacles are tier ones and by playlist i mean crucible vanguard and gambit every other pinnacle you see is a tier two also tier ones are a plus one and tier twos are a plus two you're also going to notice that there's a lot less pinnacle challenges versus powerful challenges. You're starting to see why I said that these 10 levels are going to go by a lot slower than you think. Also, for the same reason you want to do powerful challenges in order of tiers is the same reason for your pinnacles. So do all your tier ones first, followed by your tier twos. Don't forget that all of your pinnacles and powerful challenges reset every week. So if you've done all of them that week, well, then you're going to be waiting till Tuesday at uh, 12 p.m. EST, you can convert that to whatever time zone you are. That's when the weekly reset is. But once you have reached 1590, congrats, you're done for season 19. Now, I do want to quickly mention Dim or Destiny Item Manager. If you're seriously trying to power level and you want a quick and easy way to see what pieces of gear are dragging your gear level down, use Dim. It's literally one button press and shows everything you need to know. I know some people say that you shouldn't need a third party website to understand the game, but this is Destiny we're talking about, so either use it or don't. But that is how to level in Season 19 slash Season of the Seraph within Destiny 2. As always, let me know if you all have any questions and or what your thoughts are on the leveling system within destiny 2 you all already know how i feel about it i think it's boring old it's repetitive i don't like doing it and yeah but with all that being said feel free to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and i will catch you all in the next one peace